Welcome back to Mega Man Maker. Today we have a level from Doja Man called Spike Adventure Chapter 1, level ID 202821, 19 plays, and a score of negative 2, so I'm actually not certain whether or not this level is good, or if people just didn't like it because it was difficult, maybe? I've seen it happen before in other levels, so you can't really judge a score by its cover, really. So let's go check it out and see if the score really does make sense. Alright then, holy freaking hell, look at all those spikes. This is a level... Okay, this level is definitely not for people who aren't good at tight jumps, so... <laughs> apparently it's, it's like, apparently I'm not good at tight jumps, so this could be hell. Can we go this way? No? Oh, great. We have to go this way and die again and again and again. Okay, so we accidentally <laughs> we accidentally made it here, though I'm not exactly certain how the hell we did this. So yeah, let's see let's see what we can do here. Okay, this looks like it. Okay, I just want I just want to say this right now. This level should not be in Mega Man Maker. The hitboxes of the spikes are notoriously stupid, as well as basically everything in this game. The hitboxes are basically retro hitboxes, which means they're not tight to the object itself. Which makes it very, very difficult to gauge whether or not you're going to hit a spike or an enemy. So I don't, as of right now, I don't recommend levels like this, unless the hitboxes change to be tighter. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen with Mega Man Maker. I know that much. Okay, see, that's what I mean by the hitboxes. As you can see, I never even touched that spike, so levels like this should not be in Mega Man Maker. If anybody wants to make a level like this, do it in Mario Maker. Okay, so stand a little bit to the left. Maybe right? I don't even know. Oh, there we go. Alright. And we got our second checkpoint, which is actually up there, so I assume this was... That pathway up there was just to mislead you. That's why I assume. Alright, we have another super tight jump. And guess we have to fall down again. Thank you for not putting spikes under our feet. Bad. Okay, so we definitely have to dash and jump a little bit. It's a little bit easier now that I've done it, but you really have to you really have to get good at tight jumps. Okay, we made it through, so we just need t super tiny jumps. Jump all the way up. Wait here for a second. Right, and I assume we're at the boss now. And there's our last checkpoint, I assume, and we got it. Excellent. Okay, thank you for putting checkpoint after all that. Okay, short stage. I can see why I got negative two, though. I'll be honest, I can see it. Oh. Now, what I don't like is that Skullman here has, um... Now, what I don't like is... Shit. Now, what I don't like about this boss is that Skullman has a shield, plus there are two flames jetting out from the bottom, which makes this irritatingly... Well, actually, it fits a theme... It fits the theme perfectly, irritating, an irritatingly hard level. I'm not going to say it's super hard. I did get through here within... Hold on. Within 50 minutes, so it's not overly difficult. If it was like... If it was 10 different screens, then I think um, we, we'd have a big problem here. But I do find that having fighting Skullman here um, idiotic, really. Like, is, there a, is there a fast way to kill him? Like, launch him into spikes or something like that? Something like that?
And that's it. Alright, what can I say about this level except that I absolutely despise it. So basically the spike has a hitbox, the same tile width as any flooring you decide to put down, right? So if you inside the hitbox, you're gonna get hit by the spike, regardless of whether or not you visibly see yourself touching the spike. That's number one. Number two is the stupidly tight jumps. Though, if you do manage to get those tight jumps, things get a lot easier since basically it goes straight to muscle memory and you get through it a lot quicker. And the final stupid thing, I know I'm razzing on Doja here, but I have a sneaking suspicion this is exactly how he intended to make the level. To make it so that it pisses you off. That's essentially what I believe this level is made to be. As for the boss room, having Skullman in there with two flames jetting up from the ground as well as spikes in a surrounding wall forces you to fight directly in the middle with Skullman and because he can activate his shield and dash at you and also fire 3 to 6 bullets at a time plus he has the flames jetting out of the ground as shields makes this an incredibly stupid boss fight because of its incredibly high difficulty. Uh, now I'll point to previous levels that I played where you can tell that it's all about experience. It's all about the experience of playing the level. A level can be difficult. There has to be some kind of reward or some kind of pleasure for facing down a tough section, such as an E-Tank or another weapon or basically a checkpoint if you want to go minimalistic. Spike Adventure had none of that. Basically just gave you the difficulty with no rewards, which basically plopped down the enjoyment level of the level. So with all that, Spike Adventure Chapter 1, if you want to play it, go crazy. It's basically a level built for masochists. And of course, we're done here. If you're looking for more Mega Man levels to watch, go ahead and check out my channel. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when the next Mega Man Maker level comes out. And of course, if you want to send me some level codes, go ahead and leave the codes in the comments or go into the discussion tab and just type out your code there. But please don't send me levels like this. I don't enjoy them. And even if I play them, I might not even upload them. So with that said, I'll see you all in the next Mega Man Maker level.